Section 1.2, the law of the mean. The law of the mean is a very important theorem. It comes in handy in a lot of uses in proofs and as well as doing problems. The law of the mean states that if you have a function which is f that is continuous on a, b, and f is differentiable on the open interval, then there exists a certain point, we'll call it psi, inside a, b, so it isn't on the end point, that's very important, that is actually inside so that this particular relationship takes place, f, b minus f, a equals to b minus a times f prime of psi. In other words, if you have any function that go around, there is, um, there is some point where f b minus f a over b minus a, that's just the slope. That just means at some point you have uh, somewhere in there, we have f, uh, a point where f prime is the same value as the slope. You don't know where, but you know it's in there somewhere. So the, the law of the mean is a relationship between the function and its derivative. Okay, it come, somehow comes out. So this is very useful for problems where you have to see the, both the function and its derivative inside the problem. You wonder how you're going to go around doing that. And a lot of times this will come in handy. Now, in re related to the law of the mean is something called the Rolle's theorem. The Rolle's theorem is a simpl simplified version of the law of the mean. It goes like this. G is the same as the f function out there in conditions, continuous on the closed interval differentiable on the open interval, but there is one more condition, that is g of a and g of b equal to zero. So g is conveniently nailed down on both ends, okay, slam, slam down to zero. Now if this is true, then there exists a psi inside a, b, such that g prime of psi equal to zero. Now the proof Rose theorem, we argue first that, let's say that g, g is completely zero, or everywhere. If g is completely zero, then obviously g prime is going to be zero too. It's just a dead line all the way around. And that's not very interesting. So we will assume that g is at least not zero at some point. If it's not zero at some point, being that g has a g start at zero and ends at zero, okay, it must have some kind of relative maximum or minimum that doesn't equal to zero. Okay, so here's what we'll write down. Proof. So there exists a certain point psi where g of psi is the maximum. Is the maximum or the minimum of, of this is a local maximum or minimum because uh, it's not gonna go off forever, right? Because it and it has to come back down to zero. So it's the is either the maximum or minimum, and, and also the value is not zero. which means the psi cannot be a or b, okay? We have to isolate psi so that's actually inside because that's required in the theorem, in the theorem. So g psi is not zero and g psi has to be the max or the min. Now, if that is the case, then a previous theorem has told us that if you have a maximum or minimum in a, in a, in a local maximum or minimum for, for a function, then the derivative of that, function at that value is zero. And that is an earlier theorem. And by that, we have concluded the proof of Rolle's theorem. And now we're gonna prove the law of the mean. Now, the Rolle's theorem specifies the endpoints must be zero. Well, these endpoints are just some kind of random points. And so how are we gonna use this to go to hit this? The way we're gonna do it is use some kind of a trick. We will define the equation of this line. Okay, let fx, to be a line, be the line from, from this point, which is a, f, a. Line means straight line in math, to, uh, to b, f of b. So we will define this straight line right here, go from here to here, and then we will let g of x Just a second. Let's. And then we will let g of x equal to uh, the f of x minus the small f of x. 
Now, once we come up with this thing, then this G will have this condition. Okay, because you are subtracting the endpoints off and they have the same endpoints. So the new function will have this quality of having two endpoints V0. And then we'll go ahead and roll it out. So to do that, let's get down to doing algebra. What is the equation of a line that goes through these two endpoints? Now, if you do uh, dig out your old geometry book or something, calculus, then you remember that the equation of a line that goes through two points is called the two-point um, formula or something. Anyway, it, you give y equal to, um, let's see. So you do the y, um, we will do fb minus fa divided by b minus a, that's the slope, times x minus a plus f times a. This is simply the two-point uh, formula for cranking out the equation of, um, of a straight line. Okay, here's the, here's the slope, and here's x minus a, and there's y minus b. Okay, so then we'll call this thing will be called f of x. This is f of x. Okay, so then, um, so we will have, this is equal to f of x. So then g of x is equal to the two subtracted. It's just this whole thing minus f of x. We'll write this whole thing down. So is copy it all down again. fb minus fa. That's y2 minus y1. b minus a times x minus a plus f a minus f of x. So that's the entire function. And what is g prime? g prime of x takes the derivative that equal to x co coefficient existing. Okay, so we have f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a And this is the constant, so that's gone. That's a constant, that's also gone, minus f prime of x. Okay, now we will use Rose theorem, which states that if the, all this stuff is true, then there exists, by Rose theorem, okay, there exists a psi right there where g prime psi equals to zero. We're slapped up. So then if, in other words, zero equal to f b minus f a divided by b minus a um, minus f prime psi. And that is exactly the same equation as this. And that concludes our proof. So you can see that the law of the mean is proved by a simple, a, a simple trick that you subtract it to force the endpoints to be zero. Essentially, what you're doing is dropping everything down. Okay, drop this thing down here. Everything get dumped down by by the value of a, the straight line that's designed to drop it, and then you can the whole thing will come up very nicely.